again, everybody. So how was how, how was day one? Yeah, two two people find it good. No, no, I'm joking. No, no, I, I know that it's early. So yeah, but uh, we had really great, great uh, feedbacks about it. Uh, so thank you. Uh, so who was here only today? Okay, so, so a few people. Because I made a, I work hard, I work late, but I made a small sum up of of yesterday just to intro to be sure everybody remember uh, what we've seen. Um, and, and I will just for five minutes uh, making it. So this is the numbers of tweets, right? So more than 2,000 tweets, so great. We have one guy that tweeted more than 300 times, so. <laughs> yeah, we can applaud him. He's not here today, he, he will be here this morning, but uh, he, the last tweet was at 4 a.m. this morning, so he's a crazy guy. Uh, yes, so you can see all the people that tweets. Yeah, so thank you for um, tweeting the event. So 500 pe more than five people, 500 people tweet, tweeted. So different people. So we have a lot of um, uh, social media uh, usage. M close to one million people reached on on the feed. So yeah, API are spreading, and, and thank you for that. So just a small uh, a small sum up. Small sum up. So first we had Francois Bourdon that talked about the future of industries and. I tried to, to see from, from the Twitter feed the, the best quote that, that was, were the most retweeted. But he mainly said, yes, so new APIs create new models and that create new uh, monopoly that are natural because if you have the data and you, if you are able to, uh, uh, to deliver it and to have it, you can make your customer and your users uh, um, uh, addicted. And this is how you can build a real a new giants. Then we had Mike Amundsen that made a great talk about the 50 years before the last 50 years. It was his talk uh, two years ago. Uh, and yeah, so he quoted Alan Kay, Ted Nelson, about why we do software. Why we do software today. It's true that we want to make companies, build great products, make money out of it, but the pioneers, the, the giants where we are building uh, uh, on today, they made software for good, for humankind, for the long term. So. We, we, sp we, we spend one minute thinking, I don't know if you remember, on the dark, thinking about what could be for software for the next 100 years. Then we jump into the real API uh, uh, topic with Lorinda that was talking about, um, uh, is, are your API ready for production? So I, I just quoted this, yeah, don't let success kill you. So, uh, and we will have uh, companies today that, that where success were really a, a big problem for them. And, uh, and how they, they, they manage it and they scale it. <coughs> then we had uh, Mark O'Neill. So they say that three strategy for success on the business side. So self-service, um, in-app testing, and API mullet pattern. I will let you look for what is an API mullet pattern, but it's, it's kind of uh, uh, funny. On the other room, we had Orlando, Orlando uh, Cala, uh, Carlos Sacas, sorry, from Mashape that was talking about API description. But he mainly said that documentation is the first at the end uh, thing for, for uh, API companies to, to focus on. I didn't find a photo, but Cedric Begok from Spotify <laughs> uh, say that API are unmuting websites. Uh, it was really interesting to see how streaming is disrupting old music distribution that was disrupting uh, old music production. So yeah, music is really disrupted by APIs. We had the uh, Sphere IO uh, with Martin. That, that made a first uh, uh, sh retail shopping through a Google Glass. So it was really imp interesting. So I quoted just that, but uh, yeah, this is actually what he said to buy a product. We had in the other room, Evo, Evo that, that is also the organizer of Endpoint Con, which is a really good conference on APIs in Amsterdam. Uh, yeah, he was talking about scenario API development and why you should um, uh, make your API smarter, but uh, the, cl the clients, uh, your clients number. We had uh, Luis Borgeskina that quoted, uh, in the API industry, we often say that software is eating, uh, Stephen Wilmot from 3Scale, which is a sponsor, you can, you can meet them, but often say that API are eating, um, software is eating the world, like Mark Andresen said uh, two years ago, three years ago, and he said API are eating software, and Luis quoted him, made a kind of a, a, um, a reminder about networks. So he is making a SMS and WebRTC APIs, and, and, and yes, so he was saying that networks are being disrupting. Everything is being Uberized, like the Uber application. 
We had Andrew from SNDX. So do you remember he was always with a candy bar like that? So I, I, I took the candy bar. Uh, yes, treat your API like a, uh, as a product. Your API deserves it. So he was mainly saying that. And mostly focus on the value, not that, but how it works, at least when you explain it. We had in on the other room Bruno Pedro that was talking about the Paris ticketing system because when you, if you are a Paris uh, subway user, you have only one ticket for many networks, many railways, uh, different companies, but you see only one ticket for your travel. And as developer, you should see, uh, you, you, it, it should be your, your, your way. You, you, don't, you don't have to see the infrastructure, you don't have to see the network. You just have to uh, see the API, jump into it, and, and, and consume it really, really easily. We had Rab Zasueta from uh, uh, from Intel that was presented that was uh, presenting Narwhal. So Narwhal exists, and he was ex explaining it. Uh, but yes, he was giving some some mini, some clues on, on API uh, API design. We had uh, Nicolas de Seine that was talking about building a distributed APIs, and he said, contrary that we can think, don't use the, you may not uh, have to use the cloud to make a real performant uh, distributed APIs. And he was presenting that uh, yesterday. We had a Ronnie Mitra uh, that was talking about design, sketching. And he said that API design, you have to talk to other people to ins be inspired by themselves, sketch a lot, but uh, uh, not prototype. Many sketch, but not prototype. The prototype is after the sketching phase. We finished by talking about evangelism, evangelism with uh, Tony Blank. Uh, you say that. Okay, you, the, the, the developer evangelist is the API as a human. Uh, you have uh, to raise awareness, make, make sure people know what you, your API does. And he was talking mainly about evangelists that mostly don't compete on evangelism, but just uh, often work together to make more awareness for, uh, for, for developers about, uh, about APIs and, and the service they do. We had Swift at the end. And I really like this sentence about developer evangelism. He said that developer evangelism is the business of making friends, not customers. Of course, it makes awareness. Of course, it gives uh, companies, you have metrics, you need to have a, a, a success metrics. Uh, but yeah, so he said, first, I'm here to help people, to inspire them, and then things will follow, uh, will follow up. So great, great talks by all these guys. I didn't quote everybody because it was 4 a.m., uh, but uh, you, you know, all the videos of this room will be recorded, so you'll be able to, to see them after. So I will spend three more minutes on 2015, uh, because we, API Days is, has been, uh, it's the first one was in Paris, but a lot of other companies that was attending to the first one said, oh, we would like to have an API Days in our city, how we can do it? So it's easy, you, 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 you have to have a community there, you ask us, and we, we try to help you to make this uh, possible. We really make it on community base to raise awareness on APIs in the industry. Uh, so, so, um, so yeah, so next year we'll have events in Barcelona, Berlin, Sydney, San Francisco, and Paris again. Uh, this is the closed event that will be sure. We have a so great teams that uh, co organized it uh, uh, with them here, and maybe a new city will open. So in 2015, so I will ask the, all the teams, please, to, to come on the stage. So some applause for the teams there. So two of them are not here. They are organizers of API Day Sydney. That will be 10th and 11th of February. Uh, you can see on the, uh, it will be mainly about the composable enterprise. So how to think the, the, your company as uh, an API, using API or proposing APIs to, to, to others. Uh, it will be co-organized with 6.3 and more information on seed.apidays.io. If you want to speak there, if you want to uh, attend there, if you want to sponsor, so yeah, you, 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 can go, you can go here. It will be a great, great place. Uh, we found a really great place uh, there. But now we have the organizer with, with us of Berlin. So the, the theme of the event is for a web of APIs. Uh, I, I, will let, I will let them talk because it's a, it's a partnership with three, three organizations. I will just let them talk about it. We'll begin by the chairman, Lucia. 
Hi, I'm Lucia from Sphere.io. We were the local organizer in Berlin last year, which has been pretty awesome. Uh, we think the next edition will be even, even better. We're very much looking forward to it. And if you'd like to be involved in any way as a sponsor or as a speaker, we have a booth upstairs in the right corner. So just come drop by and say hi. Thanks, Lucia. Hi, everyone. I'm Robin. I was a co-organizer last year. and. Uh, We'll be organizing that beautiful event once again together with three scale or API strat at least and commerce tools. So, and would like to welcome every one of you to come over. If you'd like to have a talk about it, just come to me, talk to Lucia at the booth, or go to, over to the three scale team. Okay, good morning. Um, we are uh, Pili, and my name is Manfred. Uh, we are from three scale. And well, everybody knows that uh, API Days is, is the best API conference in the world. And then there is another best API conference, which is Apistrat. And so this year we decided uh, we make a super duper best API conference. And that's why we combined Apistrat and API Days. And we'll do that in, in Berlin on the 23rd and 24th. So we'll look forward to, uh, to see you there. Thank you. So because it's a great partnership with two great conferences, we have a really long <laughs> domain name. But we really want to show that it's a partnership with the two conferences, uh, really to make the industry move forward. So yeah, uh, we wanted to show that. So thank you. Say some applause for commercials, for Robin, and for Three Scale for that. <laughs> we will have another one in May in Barcelona, which was which will be the third edition of API Days Mediterranea. So which will be, of course, co-organized by by us, but mainly by. I uh, will let you give the mic to Eduardo and Elena. Um, hello, I'm Elena and here's Eduardo. We are the organizers uh, of API Days Mediterranea in Barcelona. This is the third edition already. And we, you're more than welcome to join us in Barcelona. It will be in midday, in mid-May, so. Yeah, so Telefonica is hosting us. Uh, uh, so a lot of telecommunication companies and industries first jump into the API space. So we, we, thank, we really thank them. Uh, for that and, and yeah, so if you are interested by, by attending, by speaking or, or uh, being there uh, for sponsorship, you, you can see the beautiful shirts with bees on, on them and, uh, or me directly and, and you will be able to. So some applause for IPA Culture and Molino Didias. <laughs> Last thing, we will have one on connected cars, transportation and mobility in San Francisco, so they are far. But uh, uh, yes, so it will be co-organized by Parisama, which is uh, 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 the U uh, U.S. entity of Faber-Novel. They have a booth there too. And last year we received uh, Larry Burns, which was a Google self-driving cars advisor that made a great, great keynote about how cars will differ from. We don't own cars; we'll have uh, we'll just have trans transportation, which was really, really interesting. And we had really a lot. All the R&D department of these of car manufacturers are in the Bay Area. At least they have one office there. And we were really impressed that uh, by the attendees that, that we have there. So if you, same if you are in this business and if you want to attend or over there, we had grants. We had really great cheese there. <laughs> so yeah, so don't hesitate. And of course, we'll have an edition next year. And following the success of this one, uh, we will raise our ambitions uh, uh, for this. We have a lot of local organizers that wants to make an API days, but uh, uh, we try to make the secret sauce between local organizers that have already communities, like you had uh, uh, um, in Berlin and Barcelona, <coughs> and sponsors that want to go there. So it's a match. Uh, we try to make this match. Uh, so this is the team, the, the local uh, cities where we may have people. So if you are interested by this uh, place, so come see us, because the magic could happen. We have an address, if you want to contact us, contact at and, uh, and that's it. So thank you for, uh, for listening to this. I hope you will enjoy uh, um, uh, this, the day two.